In 5th century BC, the original inhabitants of Sri Lanka, the Yaksha, Naga, and Deva tribes, called Hela, merged with the Singha clan, led by Prince Vijaya of India, resulting in the Sihila, or the Singhalese. The Singhalese have an unbroken recorded history of over 2,500 years, published in the Pali language. These contents have been corroborated by over 3,000 rock inscriptions found in Sri Lanka and in records found in India, photos of which are available in the University of Cambridge archives. Of Sri Lanka's population of 22 million, about 75% are Singhalese. Theravada Buddhists account for 70% of the Singhalese. Singhala is one of the oldest languages in the world, dating back to 9th century AD. Singhala developed within Sri Lanka under the direct influence of the languages Pali and Sanskrit. The Singhala alphabet was recognized as one of the 16 most creative alphabets at the World Character Conference held in Seoul in 2009, and Singhala has been given a separate chapter in the conference publication, Creative Alphabets of the World. The Singhala language has the flexibility to voice both poetic expressions and scientific ideas with ease. It was initially the language of the royals, but was gradually adopted by the common folk. More than 100,000 people in Canada speak Sinhalese. The arrival of Arahat Mahinda to Sri Lanka in 3rd century BC impacted the Sinhalese population strongly as it introduced them to Buddhism. A rich artistic culture of music, dance, and the visual arts flourished mainly through religious festivities. One of the oldest public processions in the world, the annual Dalada Perahara, dating back to 4th century AD, celebrates the sacred tooth relic of Lord Buddha. The Sinhalese lifestyle is heavily influenced by the Panchasila, the five Buddhist precepts, the simplicity of the Buddhist monks and their compassionate view towards all living beings, the concept of ahinsa, resulted in making the lives of laymen more disciplined. Even with foreign influences, Buddhist values continue to be passed on through generations. Singhalese technology boasts some technical marvels of the ancient world. The rock fortress Sigiriya not only has beautiful frescoes, but was a city complete with all facilities built on top of a massive rock. Loa Mahapaya, a man-made building that was nine stories tall, was also the only known multi-storied building in 2nd century BC. The stupa, Ruan Velisaya, was also majestic construction from the same era. Water was controlled through a collection of man-made lakes called tanks. The Minneria tank was the largest man-made reservoir in South Asia at the time. These tanks were connected with carefully engineered canals. Yoda Ala and Minipe Ala were canals with a controlled slope of only 6 inches per mile, which compares well even with today's irrigation engineering. The Singhalese king was the custodian of all the land and those who live upon it. They were expected to govern observing the Dasaraja Dharma, time-honored rules ensuring fair and equal treatment to all. Buddhism was the foremost religion in Sri Lanka, though the priests weren't directly involved in state affairs except advising the king at crises times. Everyone was considered a free person and were expected to contribute to the society and fight in the army during frequent invasions. Villages were run by a council of elders, who were the leaders of their own clans. These clans provided various services like blacksmithing, pottery, and jewelry making to the farming communities. These farmers were the predominant power center of the Sri Lankan economy, but everyone had a voice at the council. Since immigrating to Canada in the early 1950s, the Sinhalese have become a significant part of Canada's multicultural society. Some notable contributions include university professors and research center heads, renowned researchers, surgeons, psychiatrists, and neurologists, a judge in the Superior Court of Ontario, engineers in traditional and cutting-edge technologies, top-tier chefs in leading hotels across Canada, and TV personalities, musicians, dancers, and award-winning artists. The Canadian Millennium Encyclopedia includes two members of the Sinhalese community who made a difference in education and literature in Canada. The Sinhalese community has been and will continue to be a strong voice in Canada. Stuti, are you born?